We're on. Hi guys, how are you going? This is our garden project for um, the year seven and possibly older years. We'll see how we go. We've given you guys some egg cartons. Um, I'm using a whole carton here. You guys only got half a carton. I've put in my potty mix into the egg carton here. Get them level. There's a little bit more in here. I'll level them off. Some of it's a little bit fine. I mean a bit coarse. The coarse stuff you might want to move from the top so that it doesn't bury your seeds too deep. So there's our egg carton and then we've got a little punnet as well. I'll put a little bit more dirt in there. We're going to take out the coarse stuff from the dirt so it's nice and ready to plant into. There we go, that looks good to me. Um, I've used this little box here just to keep my table clean. And I'll have my seeds laid out here. So I want to do a few extra tomatoes. Some of you guys have got tomato seeds, some don't. It doesn't matter, but with my tomatoes, you, you, you should be putting one in each one. I'm just going to put one tomato in this one because I want and just... They say twice the diameter of the seed, so if the seed's this big, it's only going to be twice the thickness of the seed under the ground. So a couple of tomatoes, the coloured seeds of the tomatoes. One there, and I'll put one in here, just under the ground. And these are these tiny little seeds. You can put four or five of these in, and they're the uh, watercress. I'm going to put some watercress in this one. About five watercress. I might even put a few extras. doesn't matter if there's a few extras. You can pull them apart as they grow. How, also got how deep here, do they go? They're the diameter of the seed, twice the depth of diameter of the seed. Right. I've got some spinach here, I don't think you guys got spinach, but I'm going to put some spinach in. So put the spinach in, about twice the diameter of the seed, bury it, it's good. Then I've got some lettuce as well, put some lettuce seeds, put three or four lettuce seeds in, put some in here. I've also got some cucumbers which you guys don't have, I'm going to put a couple of cucumbers in, I'm going to put a cucumber in this one. And I've made myself a little watering container just out of a bottle. It's not very good because it's not sealing that well. I'll make another one later and probably show you guys later. This is the one I've made for now just to just moisten them up and see how it looks. It's not very good actually. It leaks a little bit. I might, might, might actually just splash the water on. So be careful you don't get it when you water them. You should, a spray bottle would be better. I don't have one right here. But I'm just going to trickle a bit of water on to moisten the soil. I might try my lid again see how it goes. Another really important thing is to where you put them. You don't want to put them in direct sunlight all day, they'll get too hot. So I'm going to place these over near my veggie garden underneath the eave. So I've decided to put my seeds here. You've got a tree there, so you'll get the sunshine will come through the tree and then it'll go behind the eave in the afternoon. So I'll only get a few hours of sun through the day. A few hours of sun and then I'll get some shade again. I'll put them here and hopefully we'll get to shoot up and we'll do a bit of stuff as they shoot. I'm going to walk over to my garden and show you ones that I've done earlier that I've put in and have grown. Let's go and have a look. These ones here are mustard leaf, like a little green, like your Asian greens, very similar. These are grown from seed. These ones here are cucumbers. They were grown in punnets, the same as what we're doing with you guys, and they've now put in the ground. And I've put some snow peas in at the back the other day, the same process, straight into the garden. You can see they're just coming up now. There's a snow pea shoot there, another one over here. So they're just starting to come up. Looks pretty Thank good. You.